so like when I bring down my hair please just bear with me okay just bear with me <laughs> first of all I want to talk to us about hair okay natural hair oh, guys like seriously my hair is very dry and I had to allow my hair to be so dry just so that I can feel this like yeah I really want to do this because a lot of times people are always talking on YouTube because I watch a lot of YouTube videos and people say things like they watch hair videos from people who already have like long hair people who their hair is already flourishing so yeah I intentionally allow my hair to just deteriorate so that when I start all these videos with my hair nobody will say oh she already had good hair blah 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 anyways let's go and make our deep conditioner okay so i'm going to bring the deep conditioner right now and start applying it so that we get to go over our hair chart proper okay look i'm all drenched with water that's because of the type of hair that i have sorry my microphone seems to be wet so that's because of the kind of hair i, I tend to have like I don't even know how to explain this, but my hair is hyper, um, high porosity, hyper high porosity. Like my hair loves to soak in so much water, and one second it looks like oh it's it's all wet. In the next five minutes, you're not going to see any of this water anywhere. And I tell you, I kid you not. So anyway, my hair has a lot of loose ends, has a lot of knots that I have to just really, 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 really take care of. But that's really not my major concern for today. Like, I don't always trim my hair because they say trim every month or trim every week. I'm just here to come deep condition my hair. And when I'm done with deep conditioning, I'm going to decide if um, I want to trim or not, okay? So basically, guys, like I, I want to know I want to ask all of us do you have that feeling because I know I have amazing products that have been working for my hair and making my hair flourish but guys I tend to just neglect my hair because somehow I just feel okay my products are always there and they'll always come true for me which they really do most times but then do you guys always imagine like what will it be like if your hair could go longer or bigger or fuller you know i have knots everywhere i haven't come this hair so i always feel like you know i've seen my hair increase and i don't know what to do to my hair i mean i know i have hair products and all there's one thing to have hair products to have hair growth there's another thing to be able to always style your hair so i really don't do any of all those styling and all of it, all of that all i do is i just weave my hair and wear wigs <laughs> basically I really don't like stress I don't like anything that's gonna stress me out and I've really been thinking about it like what would I do if my hair actually grows way way bigger than this see my hair is beginning to shrink because of the water I added so I always ask myself what would I do if my hair grows fuller or thicker like what exactly would I do Really, how, how, what's your plan? I mean, it's not just enough for you to say you want fuller hair or thicker hair. Are you really prepared? And that's why sometimes I'm really not even bothered with if my hair is growing or if my hair is not growing. Right? Because I really just feel like, uh, what am I going to do with all that hair? <laughs> I want my hair to be long and all, but I mean, when you think about the stress that has to do with combing and styling, Bro, I'm wet already for this small hair. Then imagine if it's like waist length. <laughs> so yeah, if, if your goal is, is to have long hair, by all means have long hair. My goal is to have healthy hair, and that's really what it is for me. I do not have 4C hair. I mean, can you tell what kind of hair I have just by looking at my hair? I think I've talked too much. Let me deep condition my hair. Is that I've prepared the deep conditioner, so I just want to secure myself because I know I'm going to make a mess at least, so I don't look too messy. So what I'm using, if you can look at this, is just I'm sorry I didn't get to film when I was mixing all of this. I think I've done something similar to this on my channel, but all I did is just the normal regular avocado banana egg 
um, olive oil. I used basically like three tablespoons of olive oil and somewhere around two tablespoons of honey and one avocado, but not exactly one because I, I ate some of the avocado, guys. You know, like, do you think I'm going to use the whole avocado without putting some in my mouth? Definitely no. And then I had just like two mini sized bananas and I didn't really have to blend it with anything. I just used a spoon and that's it. Okay, no much drama. This chit chat is basically the major focus of this video. So let's talk about hair. Now, over time, I've actually seen a lot of um, natural hair needs surrounding the um, hair community. People have come up several times to say things like, um, Okay, before I started by hearing things like um, hair type, 4C, 4B, 3A, 3D, and then the next thing we had the oppression of oh my hair is long, having long hair. You know, if you're going to go natural, your hair has to be long, soft, waist length, bra length. We had all the pressure of using rice water. Then we saw the era where we were dealing with. You know, almost every hair influencer had really nice flourishing hair. So if your hair was weak or poor, I told you guys my hair was going to dry up immediately, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so people always have this stereotype for natural hair and your hair had to look a certain way. And then now we have the whole saga with uh, you don't need um, products that have oil or butter in them. All you just need is moisture, blah, blah, blah. Be, everybody just has something to say for the hair community now one thing I'm going to say number one if you're going natural or if you've decided to go natural is please know your hair type when I mean know your hair type I don't mean go over to the internet and start googling what's my hair type or watching 1 billion hair videos and trying to discover what your hair type is for me I have understood that my hair type is not for C hair I do not have fussy hair. I have super dry hair that will go super dry if I don't use the right product. So understand what your hair needs. I know my hair needs water. Water. Lots of water. Moisture. My hair needs butter and oil. I need to soak. When I mean, I need to soak my hair with water and I need to apply as much butter, as much oil as I can to seal it in. And another thing about my hair is my hair tangles a whole freaking lot. So I understand my hair tangles a whole lot and I'm not going to do the same thing any other person does. If I'm really concerned about length, retention, I mean, I will, there are certain practices I'm going to carry out like not leaving my hair. But I'm not really bothered about length, okay, because even this one is not even easy to manage. So <laughs> imagine when you now have so much. So basically, that's really that. Now, stop trying to have your hair to look exactly like somebody else's hair or worries that your hair doesn't grow the way another person's hair is. It's just hair. Basically, it's just hair. Like, just appreciate it. Love your hair. Your hair must not grow like the next person's own. Your hair must not uh, look like somebody else's hair. Okay, so whatever length your hair is, look at my hair length, right? And it's hair, and I'm loving it. I'm not even bothered because, I mean, all this hair, I have to take care of it. So imagine if it's even longer. I'm not even bothered. I want long hair, yes. I could do some things to make my hair grow longer, yeah. But I'm not even bothered because it takes a lot to take good care of your hair. So love your hair the way it is, whatever length it is, whatever texture. Don't let somebody tell you. I walked into a salon the other day and the lady was like, oh, your hair is not thick because she had very thick stubborn hair. Her daughter had thick stubborn hair. And she was assuming because I had natural hair, then my hair needed to be like thick, black, and difficult to comb. I'm sorry sis, I have good hair products that work, and apart from that, that's not my hair texture. Now, another thing I need you to understand when you're trying to grow your hair is, seriously, genetics play a huge role in these things. Listen, I know they're going to tell you if you follow the right regime and all of that, yeah, follow the right regime, that's great, but genetics still has a good role to play. On, on a normal day, I'm actually very hairy in other parts of my body, like I have a hairy body, but when it comes to my head of hair, I don't seem to have way too many hair. Like if I abandon my hair, 
it deteriorates like look at this hair i haven't deep conditioned my hair in like over a month well over a month and my hair is dry and flaky and pulling out so it's not even about saying okay because i have hair on my skin my head my head of hair will do well no my head of hair is terrible if i if i don't take good care of my head of hair i always end up with very 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 terrible hair so your genes play a huge role i've seen people who do absolutely nothing to their hair than just pour water even i know someone that doesn't even pour water like i don't even know how she manages but most times she doesn't even have shea butter she's always asking me for shea butter and that's like the 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 basic thing she does to her hair apply shea butter whenever she finds anybody who has shea butter and her hair is thick thick healthy and flourishing to be honest so understand that genetics play a large role yes you can get good products that will work for you but most often than not your genetics is going to come and work in your favor okay so don't kill yourself trying to be like a favorite hair influencer another thing i'm going to say is yes product works oils work certain oils work can improve your hair if you follow certain regimes they can actually work good for your hair all right so finding good products that work like Marika Sugani products is actually very nice or any other nice product you can actually lay your hand for coin and stick into a hair regimen can work for you if you know depending on what you're trying to achieve with your hair so having said that i hope that these few tips of mine actually did make sense to you i i'm actually done with my hair uh, i'm done applying all the deep conditioning mask so okay so let me just take this thing off so you see so basically i have to use a poly bag to wrap it so it can you know generate heat i'm not using any heat cap i'm not going into any dryer so basically this poly bag is going to generate all the heat that i need it to generate for me okay so guys uh huh having done that Ooh, welcome to Africa, baby. I'm an African woman. I'm an evil woman. And I'm not ashamed to have nylon bag on my head. <laughs> Just so we look a little bit, you know, civil, let me let me put this cap over it, okay? So that you guys will not be seeing nylon and be wondering like what is wrong with this village woman? Yes, I'm a really human actually. Okay, so this works, right? Hope we look better. <laughs> okay, so that is darts and that's all I have to say. So basically, I hope you remember everything I told you from the beginning of the video. I said, if you are starting your natural hair journey, get to love your hair. It doesn't matter what length your hair is. It doesn't matter what texture you have. And you should not always listen to everything everybody says like, oh, you apply water, don't apply oil, don't apply butter, don't apply living queen don't what everybody's saying everything listen to your hair know what works for your hair and don't be so in a hurry to have perfect hair or to have waist length hair or to have hair that feels or looks a certain way sometimes our genetics play a large role and also the products that we use also contribute to our hair so Find a good product, stick to a good regimen, listen to your hair and do what your hair likes. People say trim every two weeks. I've seen someone that says trim every three months. Bro, I'm not going to trim my hair until my hair needs a trim. And if you look at my hair, you think it needs a trim and I don't think my hair needs a trim, I'm not going to trim it. That's on period. But do whatever works. Deep condition when you have to deep condition. Some people do not need to deep condition as often as others right because they have you know low porosity hair and you cannot continuously apply protein deep conditioner to your hair every week so when you're telling somebody with a high porosity 4c hair to deep condition every week and you're telling them you know it doesn't just make listen to your hair work with what works for you be patient and understand it's just hair it's okay if it looks brown or black or whatever the most important thing is let your hair be healthy okay and let it just be your hair okay so basically that's or i don't know if i'm going to come back here to do a video when i've washed this thing off because i'm pretty tired i want to wash this hair off after like two hours but in case i slip off 
Arnold. Okay, don't mind my fake accent sometimes, you know, it just, it, on a daba daba, sometimes it comes and it goes, but at the end of the day, I'm still an evil girl. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of my video. Thank you guys for watching. I look forward to having you in my next video. Did you enjoy this video at all? I just really want to like freestyle most often. I don't want to be like stereotyped, but if there's any particular kind of video you guys want me to do often, please feel free to just tell me okay and i'm gonna stick to what you want because this channel is for you and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed subscribe please i'm begging you and you can actually hit that bell it's called a notification bell so that every time i have a new video up it will alert you like it's going to notify you that i have a new video and who knows it could be a video that will be of great interest to you I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Leave me a comment so I know that you came. Peace out.